Hello, welcome back. This is my latest project I've done the other night. I did some light painting on this uh, dozer. Um, sit back and grab your favorite beverage, and we gotta dive into how I took and edited this picture. Hello, everyone. Welcome again to the channel once again. I do apologize for uh, not having a video up sooner. I had some crazy time at work. I did take my camera with me the other night and. Uh, Want to do some star photography, but the clouds are starting to roll in. So I figured I'd go ahead and just capture what I could see and do some light painting. Um, if you've not done any light painting, I do recommend you trying it. You can do it with just about any camera, um, as long as you can put it on a tripod where you don't have to move, where it doesn't move around. That way, all your images will line up when you combine them. Um, I did go ahead and take ten pictures of the stars that was there before the clouds started rolling in and got out of hand. Um, I used my uh, Cam Ranger for that option. Um, I could have used my camera just as it was, but I would either have to either touch the shutter or uh, put it on a timer. Uh, some sort of release would have worked alright. But I just went ahead and used Cam Ranger because it's automatic. It was just fire one after another. I went ahead and programmed how many shots I wanted. And just let it take off and it done its thing there. I have my ISO setting at uh, 6400 at 18 millimeters at f6.3 at about 15 seconds. Let's go ahead and, and take me off here and uh, other monitor here. I can see where I'm at, where I'm gone. And I went ahead and saved these as TIFFs and combined them in the sequator. Here is the uh, combined picture of those uh, star pictures into this. Um, I did enable my lens profile correction on this. I did do that. If I wanted to, I could up the exposure just a little bit. You can see I can go all the way up and it just goes plum crazy, you know. But I'm not going to do that. I could crush the back black sun, but it also takes the stars out too. You know, you can go through and do some adjustments, but I'm not going to leave everything just as the equator done it. Uh, I went ahead and imported this picture into Photoshop along with these light painted pictures here. These here, uh, I didn't bring my CTL gel with me, and everything was really, really blue. So I did warm these up in Lightroom. If you want to, here is the original picture of that blue. It's just a lot of blue from the LED light, which is too much, I thought. Um, so I did warm them up, and I've already imported them into uh, Photoshop also. Um, here is my first edit of this picture that I made, but we're going to do it again in Photoshop together. So let's jump over there now. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit on the horsey side today. I guess as the weather changes, getting everybody down. As you can see here, I've then imported these in. I even put them in a folder. These are my a light painted pictures here. I put them in a, in a folder. And here's my base image. So I can turn these off, and you can see my base image. Turn these all back on. Um, when you start. Combining these into one picture, you know, select your first picture and your second picture. Um, I use the lighten option on these. And once you get that, boom, it already combines them together. You can see some of the star trail and stuff already where you see all the 15 state exposure where they already moved just a little bit. Um, hopefully, maybe I get to go back later on. The Milky Way will come up. Uh, yeah. Sooner in the night instead of late here, like starting here next little bit where the seasons are changing. You can see where I walked around my LED flashlight and stuff like that, and where I hit it on the ground and stuff. Let's go ahead and turn these other ones off. Uh, you either can edit from the top down or uh, bottom up, however you wish to do it. Uh, you just go ahead and hit your <coughs> top right. Get your layer mask. Be sure you got your brush selected. And you got your black and white modes. 
you can change your burst size by doing your cursor. Let's go up. Let me make sure we've got all the sky here selected here. And it's okay if we get a little bit into the dozer. We can always bring that back. Over into our switch our brush and mirror. Dozer back. Okay. That line is just too much light right there, so let's take that out. Easier open and close brackets to change your cursor size. <clears throat> you know what? I don't really even need that picture. I don't think the only thing that picture is doing is my let's turn that off. That's where I walk back from doing the uh If I want to use that picture, just go ahead and click on my layer mask and we drag it up. This one here is where I've done just the lighting off the uh, off the doors. Make sure you got your layer mask selected that you're willing to paint on. Bring back some of this detail here from. From the barrels, okay. Hold your Alt key down and click your layer mask. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make sure we get this nice and darkened out here. Get your alt key on your layer mask and drag it up. Label your mask. Click on your mask. And add some more. This one here is a little bit bright, so let's turn my
while it's saving the, uh, the Photoshop file, let's go ahead and dive back into Lightroom. And let's go back into my, our library module where we import this file that we just done here. I could have just did a file synchronization, probably, probably would have done the same thing. Would have brought it in, but. There's our file right there, and we, uh, we uh, import that. There it is. Let's go ahead and go into our develop module. This is real nice. Let's get rid of these light trails here. That was. Get our spot removal brush out here. We uh, some of these probably wouldn't even have noticed it, but I know they was there, so just let Lightroom make its own little decision here on how it wants to take these out. It looks better. And I am going to do some graduated filters on these because I do want to bring the edges down a little bit. I want to make it look like it's sitting on an island of light. First, that's going to Go ahead and crop in just a little bit before I do all that. And I'll let's reset. Lock my lock my ratio in here. Reset. about right there. There, looks nice. Now let's put our graduated filters in. Cover up my sky. Point like it's sitting on a Like there's a spotlight hitting it. Okay, a bit darker. Bring it in just a little bit more. Do the same with this one here. We're gonna duplicate it. Just a little bit more, we're turning it. Let's 
bring this one up from the bottom. And there we go. I believe we've I believe we've got her. I will probably print this one out. I do like this picture. So I do hope everybody did enjoy the edit with me. I will do have some more planned in the future. And hopefully maybe later on when the Milky Way does come in pretty quick. Instead of waiting until dawn to come in though. We may redo the, another picture like this and have a Milky Way in the background. Um, please do like and subscribe. Uh, comments are welcome. If you see me out running around, come up and say hello. I'll be glad to talk to you. You never know, we may go out and do some pictures together somewhere. Um, and once again, uh, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.